Okay, I want you to check out what I'm gonna do here. In other videos you've seen, I've been uh, trying to get my pond to quit leaking and no luck. I've put over probably 1,500 pounds of bentonite in it. And my neighbor wanted to drain his pond, so we started filling mine. And what I found is this. I went down on the dam and started walking to where the wet spot started. You're not gonna be able to see the flags in a minute. But when I turned around, all the flags were right in a row. When the guy that built my pond, a friend of mine for a long time, over 50 years, um, he said if, if it holds, it was gonna be a beautiful pond because it was solid rock bottom. And from the looks of where these flags are, that's where my leak is all the way across. And uh, so, I'm gonna drain it and uh, show you how I'm gonna start. This is what we had running into my pond for my neighbors because he wants to dredge his out. So now I need to get that going on this line with this. I've got extension cords running from my barn all the way out here to my shop back. And I got the filter out of it. And this is how we got his going. We just hooked the shock back up to the end of the hose, turned it on, had to empty it a couple of times. And it just took off and ran once I got the, the pipe completely full. Kim's getting ready to turn the vacuum on. Hopefully I got it the first time. I had put water in the hose from my neighbor's pond. I was using that hose to fill this one as much as I could. And, uh, yeah, I got a good flow. This pipe is in a five gallon bucket with some holes in it, the top's open. It's got a weight on it that will keep it from sucking up a bunch of sludge. And so the past three weeks we've spent filling mine, and now it's time to go the other direction and find out what I need to do to save our pond. And a friend just came by and put five baths about that big in there. So at some point, we're gonna have fish for supper. It's going. I'm happy. So that's how you can siphon water from a pond to drain it. As long as you can get below the level where you're pulling from, it'll take off and run. So I will uh, 
I'll give you an update as it goes along. Well, it's the next day and it's still running. That fiberglass pole right there yesterday was, water was about two inches inward to it, or, or it was about two inches out in the water. Uh, so with the pond leaking and what I'm pulling out of it, it's uh, gone down a bit. It's not been 24 hours yet. We're supposed to get rain today pretty much all day. I don't know if you can see it, but it's light rain right now. So it's a start. Hey, I'm going to keep this short, uh, but I want you to see where the water is dropped from where it was when we started this. Okay, we started Thursday afternoon about 3 o'clock. We started to drain the pond down. What I did, that fiberglass rod was about 2 inches out into the water. So between it leaking and also us assisting getting the water out, that's a pretty good drop. I'll have to keep an eye on my inlet over here and have to move it accordingly as the water drops. So for now, thanks for spending a little time with me. And uh, there's probably going to be several of these videos, especially once this gets lower. And I see it's obvious where my pond's leaking, but I believe it's all the way along the bottom. Uh, just the way the flags look that I put, put out there. And, and the guy that built it telling me I had a solid rock bottom. So I really believe it's between the rock bottom and the bottom of the dam. So stay tuned. Catch you later.